Hey guys, I have an animal update for you. Rufio is still alive. He's still pretty lethargic though, and um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. We're still gonna give him care and see what happens because I think lizards or reptiles' immune systems might work pretty slowly, so we're gonna like give him some extra time and see if he can get better. But, um, now Kenobi's actually having some problems too. Uh, John's at the vet with Kenobi right now. So what happened is we took him to get groomed yesterday, as you guys know. And um, before I picked him up, I got a phone call from them and the lady said that she couldn't give him a perfect haircut because he didn't want to stand up anymore. And I was like, oh, okay, like, you know, that's fine. Obviously don't force him to stand up. And then when I picked him up, um, he was like shaky and I thought oh, maybe he's just excited to get home and he, he got here but then it progressively throughout the night got worse and worse and he can't stand up he can't walk anymore so I'm kind of we're John and I are both like well what the heck happened did something happen at the groomers did they force him to stand up for a really really long time did he fall off the table or something because he tries to stand and his legs just shake and he can't and he lays down so we're like we're we're worried about him but like I said John's at the vet with him right now he's getting blood tests and x-rays and stuff done and Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully it's like just a pulled muscle and it's gonna heal in a little bit, but I mean Poor Kenobi, you know like getting him groomed isn't worth having him injured for <sighs> So I don't know it's been a little rough around here He just got home and he's standing up, but can you see how his leg is shaking like crazy? Oh Yeah both of them are shaking, but are you okay, bud? Here, you can lay down. He wants water. Loves his water. Well, what did the vet say? Did they find anything out? No. Well, so I got like his blood tested to make sure they didn't eat anything like toxic, which he didn't. So it could be like, like, Physiologically, it could be like his back, or it could be like an infection of some sort, but... It doesn't seem like a pulled muscle? No, I don't, I don't know what it is, but we're going to go back to the regular bed on Tuesday and get some more stuff. Did you go to an emergency one? Yeah, but it's like he's never ever once laid down Yeah. his water dish, so it's... But it happened good. after the groomer, so... Yeah, he's got some medicine to take for twice a day for a while that should help like painkillers like anti-inflammatory I don't know what says it on the sheet that they gave me but mm, no oops don't tell Tharpe to get a cheeseburger out of the deal so I had this thought, I wonder if natural sunlight might help Rufio feel better so I brought his cage outside here and after I brought his cage outside he's like walking around he was just laying all day with his eyes closed and now he just like opened his eyes and perked up and is walking so i don't know maybe leave him out here for a while and monitor him obviously but he's moving and he wasn't moving before well maybe he'll like the view at least so we wanted to come down to Montrose and check out the farmer's market today and have lunch. But it's like crazy packed down here so we don't know if they're having a parade. You said they might be? I said they're having a July 4th celebration. Before like the 4th? Of, day. Like, or, okay. Like the 4th of July is tomorrow. Yep. But they celebrate it today in Maybe Montrose? Santa fly over in a helicopter. <gasps> you think Santa's here? Jeez, look at this. There's like a car show going on. Ooh. Ooh, Bronco. Really? Yeah. You could bring your Bronco to a car show. I do. I know, but you could bring it to like these kinds, right? Yeah, I could. I mean, these are like I really Are they like in a club? Cars. Well, no, but they just like meticulously clean the engine and the parts and keep them like polished. Whereas mine, like, you know, I, I drive it more of like an everyday driver, but 
<laughs> this, yeah. if you look at There's the motor, a Bronco. Like my motor's dirty and that motor's clean. That's the that's the difference between my Bronco and that Bronco. Hmm. Well, this is where my potatoes usually are. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're usually a little bit farther up, but I don't think the farmers market is happening today, unless they like moved it and then they have the car show here and that somewhere else. Mm. It's crazy how packed it is. Yeah, John's in heaven right now. John's a car guy. He's like <laughs> drooling all over the place. There's so many people down here. Is that a new? What do you think? Oh yeah, there's a doggy. You like the doggies? Yeah. You want to wait in the car until you get your hair cut? Beep beep. Yeah. <laughs> vroom vroom vroom. You ready? You look so cute in your little cape. Oh, you gotta sit. Sit still. It's gonna be real quick, okay? Iris, sit still. Look, it won't. Your hair's not gonna fall in front of your eyes anymore. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. <gasps> Look at your new haircut. Look at your bangs. <laughs> now you can see. This is cute. Look at this old camper. It's attached to a Bronco. That's why John wanted to stop. But that's so cute. People used to sleep in things like this. So Rufio seems like he might be getting better. He's opening his eyes a lot more. It looks like there's a glisten in his eyes now. And um, it seems like his color is getting better. I wouldn't say he's a healthy lizard yet because he do still does sleep a lot. But um, it seems like there might be some improvement. So I think the natural sun has been helping him. So I made him a little enclosure out here. So here he is. You can see his eyes open right now. Um, so I have a towel on half the side so he can get some shade if he wants it. But yeah. So I think what we're gonna do is build like an awesome outdoor enclosure for our reptiles so when it's like hot out like this, we can let them be outside and they can get the natural sun. Cause I'm thinking like nothing just beats the natural UVs and natural sun. So I think it would be good for them to have like an outside place too. I wonder if the turtles and the lizards can be in the enclosure together. I'm pretty sure I've been to a zoo and they've had tortoises and turtles and and lizards in an enclosure together. I'll do some research, but I think that would be nice and then just like have a little garden in there with edible greens that they can eat, like some, some kale and maybe some like cactus or something and a wall they can the, that the lizards can climb. You know, Kenobi's been doing better today too, haven't you, big dog? You were walking around earlier. You're taking a rest right now, but you've always been a little lazy. Well, since it's so hot out, we're gonna have a little pool day. Do you think that sounds like a good idea, Iris? Those guys can't go in the swimming pool, though. Are you half mermaid? Are you a water baby? <laughs> Woohoo! Splish splash! Hand water on your hand. Mmm. There's the big stretch. There's the big stretch. 
Yeah, see, he's walking. He is getting better, I think. He's yeah. He's still like out of sorts. We have to go to the vet on Tuesday, but. Yeah. I think he's getting better though. I think it's just rest. I gave him after the vet. That helped him? Yeah. <laughs> I think he must have pulled a muscle. Oh. No? You know, I'm like. You keep saying that, but you're like, what? He, what, 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 he was over like running a marathon. No, like he could have slipped off the table at the groomers a little bit and like his muscle got pulled. That's some water? I think that's what happened. I got you, you know, And then it, it just needs rest and gets better. Water for the big dog. The UPS guy has like 10 minutes to deliver Iris' pirate ship. <gasps> She's you know, getting a pirate ship tonight? We're supposed to be here about 8 o'clock. <gasps> oh my. Although I have faith in the UPS guy because he came with my hoverboard at like 8.05. After I was like heartbroken, it wasn't gonna show up. <laughs> yeah, guys, Iris is getting a pirate ship playhouse to go in the backyard. <laughs> Confinement. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the high chair. What are we going to look at your face? You're like, huh? Mommy. Mommy. Can you eat a little more of dinner and then we'll go night night? So I just wanted to say real quick when I had Rufio in his cage outside just in case someone else has reptiles and they think like oh that sounds like a good idea um, you have to be really careful because when the sun comes in through the glass it makes it hard uh, hotter in the cage because it's um reflecting and uh, I, when I did it when I had him out there it was in the early evening so it wasn't as hot outside and I had a thermometer in there and I was watching to make sure the cage didn't get too hot and I also ended up putting a towel around right where the sun was shining in and I just kept an eye on the thermometer to make sure the temperature was right in there well I am gonna wrap up this vlog thank you guys so much for watching please go ahead give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.